Automate SCP Fiori login with Paratomate Desktop will be today's tutorial. And this will be one of many tutorials that will be released on the channel about automating SCP Fiori with platforms such as Paratomate and Wipad. So if you are interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel and in the notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial. So let's get started by creating a new flow on Paratomate Desktop. So I'll name it SCP Fiori underscore login and let's click on create. Just a small remark, to be able to automate SCP Fiori with Paratomate Desktop, we need to make sure that we have installed on the browser that will be used by the bot, the Power Automate Desktop Browser extension. And we can install it by going here to Tools, Browser Extensions, choose the browser, add the extension and make sure it's enabled on the browser. So the first step to automate the login into SCP Fiori with Paratomate Desktop is to start the browser on the SCP Fiori login page. And to do that, we'll use the action launch new and here you can see different actions to start different browsers. I will use the one to start Microsoft Edge browser. And so launch mode, let's start a new browser instance. Initial URL, let's paste here the SCP Fiori login page URL. And then uh, window state, let's force to be maximized. So the window will be maximized. And let's save and see how it's working. So I'll just close here the browser and run the flow by clicking here on run. And here you can see that we we'll started the browser on SCP Fiori login page. So now the next step is to fill the count credentials. So fill the user and the password. So for that, we'll use the populate text field on the web page action. So here we can see it. So we'll need to use one per each field. So one for the user field and another for the password field. So let's drag the first one. So first needs to be indicated the browser instance to be targeted. So as on our flow, we just start starting uh, one instance. It's here automatically uh, selected. And then, so Y Hellman. So we need to add the Y Hellman to be a target. So we need to indicate it. So to add, let's click here on Add Y Hellman. And so to add it, first we need to over the field and then over the control button and do a left click. And the Y Hellman was added as we can see. And now here on text, uh, we need to provide a text to be filled on the field. So here let's insert our account user and now let's save. Now let's drag another one for the password. So the same steps, we need to add the white helmet as we don't have it added already here. So let's add here the password field. And now we need to provide the password and just a small remark, Italy, we will store the password on the vault, the password storage, such as CyberArk. But to keep it things simple on this drill, let's uh, put it directly here. So I'll just here switch uh, the input to direct encrypted text input. And now let's put here our account password and let's save. So let's see how it's working correctly. So it should start the browser and fill the user and the password. So let's run the flow. And here you can see that it's working well. So we we'll started the browser on SCP Fiori login page and was we'll filled the count credentials. So the latest step is to click on the logon button so we can perform the login and for that we'll use the press button on web page action so let's drag it to our flow and basically we just have to indicate uh, here uh, the Y helmet related to the button that we want to click so uh, we have to add the Y helmet first so let's add it 
And now let's just save, now that we have added an indicated Y helmet. And let's run the flow to see if the login is done successfully. So I'll just click here on run. So the browser was started, it's been filled with account credentials. And we can see that it was clicked the logout button and the login was done successfully into SAP Fiori. And that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and now make sure you subscribe to the channel and enable notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.